human brain simulation. So new research published in October of 2024 out of Princeton University revealed the creation of a connectome of a fruit fly's brain. What's a connectome? So it's basically like a super detailed wiring diagram, but for the brain. It shows you how every single neuron is connected. And we're talking about a lot of neurons packed into a tiny space, right? Oh yeah, we're talking 134,181 neurons and millions of connections all crammed into a space smaller than a sesame seed. That perfect neural map was then uploaded into a computer to create a working simulation of how the neurons interact. Then researchers could accurately watch how the virtual fly brain responded to flashing lights, puffs of air, or during natural activities like walking. Not only did this provide an avalanche of new discoveries about fruit flies, but it sets the stage for mapping larger, more sophisticated brains in 2025. Here's Peter Diamandis. I think we're gonna, that technology is gonna take us to being able to upload the brain of a mouse. And on stage this year at the Abundance Summit, you're gonna meet a, a CEO who thinks for $50 million, he's got the technology to upload the entire human brain. 50 million per biological brain? I, I don't think mine's worth that much. Anyway, with how much companies have been shelling out to create digital brains, my guess is investors are gonna be lining up. A fully functioning simulation model of a human brain would allow endless repeated testing of how our brains respond to specific stimulation. If you're thinking about volunteering your brain for immortality, just remember, you'd be offering up an exact copy of your consciousness to be essentially the property of a research institution. So if I were you, I might wait until the world has some safeguards so your virtual mind offspring don't end up in a white void for a zillion virtual years in the name of science.